Ugh, serving Mole Knight is the worst. I'm not on guard, he makes me dig. Don't even get me started on the temperature. I wish I could work somewhere cool and wet. Alright, so... Pretty sure I read that last time, but he's walking around now, so... I have to, like, wait. I can do this. Anyway, uh, hello again. <laughs> We're just continuing where we left off, like, immediately. What's the big idea? My suit is all rusted. Hey. Like this, I can pass myself off as a guard of the Iron Whale. Uh, I'll need some kind of nautical attack. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll just grab an anchor or something. Alright, so... He's gonna go to the, uh, the Iron Whale. Do it. Which one? Um, I'll go to the Pride Moor Keep. My lord. Are you prepared to visit? Yeah. Let's do it. Summon thy scythe. And see, the music is even different here, too. Like in, in the Plague Knight one. Uh, Plague of Shadows. <clears throat> they didn't really change a lot of the music. A lot of the levels had the same music as the Shovel Knight game. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> and, uh... But for this one, they they got a bunch of new songs. In the in Plague of Shadows, they had like a little bit, you know, they had some new songs here and there, which is why uh, a lot of the music sheets you can collect in that game were just old songs that you have in the in the Shovel Knight game. <clears throat> but there were some that were new. Which is why, like, some of them you can, uh, listen to from that guy, Oolong. Uh, <clears throat> you know, just sometimes. A lot of the time it was just like... Oh. Almost just fell in. <laughs> sometimes it was just, uh... <clears throat> oh. Whoops. Can't get those up there now. Yeah, sometimes... It was just like the normal ones. That you collected in... For Shovel Knight. So you didn't have to... Deal with that. But yeah, they, they really upped everything for this game. And for the King Knight one, too. They, like, got more ambitious. <clears throat> Which I highly respect Yacht Club games for this. Like, they didn't have to do this again. Like, they could have just done another Plague of Shadows where they're just like, yeah, just we're gonna make another, like it, the the game is gonna be very similar again to the Shovel Knight game and Plague of Shadows uh <clears throat> but, you know, the story will be different again, uh just like Plague of Shadows but, <clears throat> but no, they were like, let's go even bigger. Let's just make this an entirely new game. Like, from the ground up, basically. Well, I mean, you know, they have some assets here and there. That it wasn't 100% from the ground up. <clears throat> but, like, you know, it's basically a new game. 
which is why they started uh, selling it separately. You can buy Spectre of Torment as a separate game. Oh, whoops. <laughs> like, if you don't want to buy Shovel Knight or the King of Cards or anything. Yeah, you can just... Um, if you really just want to buy this one, like you can. Which is why they started selling it like that. And uh, they changed Shovel Knight, uh, the title, to be Shovel Knight Treasure Trove, if you want all of them. It's like, it's, uh, but they didn't, they, uh, they kept their promise on the, for the Kickstarter campaign. They, they, uh, <clears throat> they promised, um, that, oh god. I forgot. That's one of my guys. I was like trying to avoid the bullets there, but those were my guys. Uh, anyway, um, <clears throat> the uh, oh, come on, really? Ugh. I gotta get that stuff now. <clears throat> oh, whoops. Okay, what was I saying? Yeah, sorry, it's it's completely gone. I'm sorry when that happens, okay? I, I just, I completely lose my train of thought. Sometimes, and it just, it ju it, it's just gone. Maybe I'll get back to it if I remember. It's <laughs> talking about, uh... Shuffle Knight. Alright, okay, the treasure trove. I remember now. They were t uh, they, they kept their promise. They promised that, like, <clears throat> if, uh... They promise that, like, once these, uh, once the DLC comes out for these new campaigns and stuff, for the new characters, and the battle mode, uh, that they were making too, from the stretch goals, they promise that those, all of the DLC, everything, is gonna be free for the people who already own the game. So if you buy Shovel Knight, uh, if you bought Shovel Knight before all that s stuff happened, uh, before they actually released released all of the DLC, um, <clears throat> I don't know if I can get that bag. <clears throat> Whoops. So yeah, if you bought Shovel Knight before they released all the DLC, they were just like, yeah, you could just have it. Like, for free. You could just download the DLC. All of the DLC was free. If you already own the game. Uh, <clears throat> which I thought was pretty cool. Of them. And they kept the promise. Even though after making the, um... This Spectre of Torment game just kind of... They changed a lot of stuff when they released it. They were like, we can actually, uh... We worked really hard on this game. So, we can actually... Like I said, it's basically like its own game. Like, completely separate from Shovel Knight. <clears throat> from Shovel of Hope, you know? So we can just sell it as its own thing. If people are into that. And also, they... 
they did uh, raise the price of the regular Shovel Knight. I, I think it was just... Originally, it was like $15 for Shovel Knight. Uh, originally. But, <clears throat> you know, now that they upgraded it to Shovel Knight Treasure Trove, which gives you all of the DLC and everything. I think it's... um. They rose, they rose the price, but it's still, like, didn't raise it to, like, it's not like a $50 or anything, or 60 or whatever. It was still only, like, I don't know, it's like $25, $30 or something? That's still, like... I'd still say that's that's incredibly worth it for this game because I love it. And you get everything: you get the Specter of Torment, you get the Plague of Shadows, you get Shovel Knight, you get the King of Cards, you get everything. You get the uh, Shovel Knight Showdown. <clears throat> so it's just cool, you know. It's like why why not just get everything <laughs> at that point? Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I think this game is still like $15 if you just buy it separately. Like if you buy this game, uh, Spectre of Torment, separately, I think you can also buy, you can buy all of them separately except for Plague of Shadows, which is confusing. That's the most confusing thing about it. It's like, oh, you, you sold everything, you can buy Shovel of Hope separately too like if you really don't want anything else you just want the shovel knight game you could just get that one uh the same thing goes for the specter of torment and king of cards but the one that you do not get separately you have to buy the treasure trove for plague of shadows which is uh I don't know, it's just, it's, it's weird. They did it that way, but, <clears throat> but it's whatever. I just, I, I would say, I would recommend just getting the treasure trove, because it's everything. <laughs> and it's just that great. <clears throat> and it's only 25 to $30. I can't remember which one. Like, it's... You know, it's, it's affordable enough, okay? It's worth it. For all of the content that you're getting, it's definitely worth it. And, uh, on the subject of the battle mode thing, that's what they were, like, advertising it as <clears throat> when the Kickstarter was going up there. Uh, when they had the Kickstarter, they were like, we're gonna make a, a four-player battle mode, like, couch co-op kind of thing. Um... <clears throat> And again, I wasn't expecting that much out of it. I thought it was just going to be like... Alright, you pick your character, you pick an arena, and then you just fight each other, and it's like... I wasn't expecting much. Okay, I wasn't expecting that much. Oh, God. I forgot to jump. <laughs> Whoops. <clears throat> I thought I could have done it just by falling off and then slashing upwards, but nope. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> I wasn't expecting much with that, but they, they did a lot. It's like its own game. Again, like, you can buy it separately if you want. To so buy Shovel Knight Showdown separately, you can. Because it, it's like its own game. It's not even just a battle mode that's like really... Um, 
bare bones and minimalist. My god, come on, really? I'm not gonna be able to get those now. Okay. That's so annoying. I just can't get those now. I've got nothing to get those. Whatever. So it, it's got its own like stuff going on. That game, my god. <laughs> Shovel Knight Showdown is like it's completely its own game. Like it's it's just straight up a fighting game, like a party fighting game, platform fighting game. It's not like. <clears throat> I wouldn't say it's like. It's just like S Super Smash Brothers. Um, there's a lot of differences here and there for it, but. But it, it's more like. Super Smash Brothers than. Like. Uh. I don't know, it's not like Street Fighter, you know, like it's not that kind of game. It's a it's more of the, the platform fighter. Which makes sense for, you know, a 2D platform game. Characters, I think I've mentioned it before, maybe, but the oh god, got me with the wind. He killed me with the wind. Never thought I would say that. That's a sentence that I never thought I would say. Unironically, but yep. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the um. <clears throat> The characters in that game play pretty much how you think they would. Like, if you play as... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've said this before. <clears throat> but if you want to play as, like, Spectre Knight, he controls in the fighting game like how you would expect him to control here. But they, they, they do balance it out a little bit. Where you can't get all of your curios that you can get <clears throat> like Shovel Knight doesn't have all of his relics that he can use in Shovel Knight that would make him overpowered an overpowered character to, to play as in a fighting game you know it would just be like oh I can use the phase locket and just <clears throat> spam that so they only they limit the characters to certain you know to have certain moves but I think they did a really good job making every character different. For one thing, like not not a single character is like a a clone of another character, you know. Each character plays how you would expect them to. Hey, the fairy just <laughs> Oh my god. The fairy just summoned his own minion. Okay. <laughs> like that's a, that's a new one. Anyway, oh look. It's the loyal lapdog. Here to do your master's bidding, hmm? Chasing your tail around the valley must be tiring. In fact, you look like death. Haha. <laughs> and I can do this while, while we're talking. As our leader suspected, you dwaddle. No, wait. You dawdle and play at. Nobility, I've been tasked with setting you back on schedule. What should I do? Grab a shovel and start digging? Just thinking about it makes my flawless face flush. Working is for commoners. But I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. Watch! So yeah... <clears throat> I think they accounted for this this time 
Uh, okay, yeah, the the boss is like different this time. He's he's a uh, he's got some new moves. He's even got cards too, which ties into his game. The whole king of cards thing. Which they accounted for this time. Whoops. <laughs> I fell right in there. Right into his trap. So, uh, yeah. He, um... They were mentioning that he said our leader. So technically, I think King Knight at this point is already, um, he's already, <clears throat> Ugh. he's already on our side, I guess. He's already uh, a part of the order. We're just here to, like, set him straight again. He's like, hey, remember, you aren't the, like, actual king here. Like, it, the Enchantress is the leader here. Gotta just put you back in your place a little bit. It's just embarrassing at this point. <laughs> I'm a little rusty, okay? I just, <laughs> that's what it is. I'm getting slaughtered by King Knight of all people. Oh my god. I will say in boss battles, this guy gets really... The minion. The skeleton minion that I can... Produce here. He gets really overpowered. If you, uh... There we go. I got him. If When you upgrade him, he gets really overpowered for uh, boss battles. Like, he can he can destroy a boss battle very easy, easily. He can get their health down a lot. Oh, look at this. Sometimes this will happen. After you complete a level. We get a flashback level. I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name. It's Luan? Luan? I don't know. <clears throat> I never knew how to pronounce it, but whatever. We're almost there. I can feel it. Indeed. And a long journey it's been. <clears throat> Onward. Caltrops. So yeah, the um, <clears throat> this character's name is Donovan that we're playing as, which, if you remember from the first part, uh, Black Knight called Specter Knight Donovan. I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's not really a spoiler, I think. Uh, he's got the same moves. I can run up walls and stuff. That was awesome. Uh, that was a much cooler way to beat that skeleton than I was planning. I was, uh, <laughs> whatever. <clears throat> And as you can see, even the, uh, 
Oh god. <laughs> okay. That's not cool. Even the turkey is like back to being a full turkey. Yeah, I, I just can't get those. That's that sucks. No, no. <laughs> I panicked. I'm losing all my gold. Yeah, I just can't even get that gold anymore. I just can't get it. It's the downside of these games. It's like they're... <laughs> this is the worst. I'm not <laughs> doing well here. I swear I'm not this bad. I lost, like, almost all of the, the gold that I got in this level. <clears throat> yeah, I was- I was really excited. But say we stop here for the night. Ugh, Donovan. As a father, I'm worried about him. Do you think the amulet will truly protect him from all harm? Your boy has much to learn about the world. Certainly. But... If this trinket is as powerful as they say, I I can only hope that the legends are hold true. Don't worry, we won't be leaving empty-handed. Come now, let's rest. And tomorrow, we will find out for ourselves. <clears throat> <clears throat> so yeah, sometimes that'll happen. We'll reminisce. Also, the fairy's doing it, too. That's awesome. <clears throat> so, as you can see, in the background there, Pride More Keep is th there now. So, every time we beat a battle, also the Lich Yard is, is back there, too. They'll, like, be added to the background there. Somehow. I think, uh, I'll do this one. <clears throat> See, I was really... <clears throat> These are really good against the knights here. I was really excited when they were, like, uh, announcing Shovel Knight Showdown. They were, they were gonna release, they released Shovel Knight Showdown and King of Cards at the same time. So I was really, really excited for both of those. <clears throat> it was like, it's just cool. It was like, we're getting both of those games. <clears throat> oh, what? Oh, it, it appears this room isn't at, isn't cursed. You might be wondering why that is. I'm sorry, but that's another ancient secret. <laughs> ancient skeleton secret. So we don't we can actually fight this time. Cuz we could do this. Haha. -ha. And have a an astral projection of myself. Uh, but yeah, <clears throat> I was really hyped for that, for both the King of Cards and Shovel Knight Showdown, but specifically that 
uh, like the Shovel Knight Showdown game, they were they had a bunch of uh, on the Yacht Club games uh, <clears throat> YouTube channel. They had a lot of uh, and their website, of course. They were. <clears throat> They had a lot of, uh... <clears throat> oh, cool. I can switch right here with the... for the other... things. That's cool. Yeah, look at me now. <clears throat> That's so awesome. But yeah, they... <clears throat> they had a whole thing where uh, they were releasing videos where they were going over the stuff. Oh, wait. Gilding is how... You show the world you mean business. You know, can't have a kingdom without flashing some gold. So the videos they released for uh, the showdown, they had like, they were uh, releasing gameplay footage and stuff and like they were going over some of the playable characters and stuff. And it just, it looked really good. It looked really fun to me. Hey, a bit of business. It has, it was slim pickings before, but now I have some prey to circle. Yeah, now we're finally getting some, some business in here. I think I'm gonna, Upgrade that one. <clears throat> it's like, uh, oh, hey, Specter Knight. You know, no one ever told me how boring it would be to guard the ocean. It's so dull and empty, just staring into the, into an endless void for hours on end. I wish I can guard somewhere exciting. Ah, intense. My adrenaline is pumping. I feel great. Like I could leap high into the air. And I'm green. <laughs> I've got it. I'm going to burst onto the scene over at the Explodatorium. Ah, ha 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 ha. Jeez, alright. I think I can upgrade another one. I'm gonna upgrade... You can pick up items with the, uh... <clears throat> Resists interruptions and increases attack range. I think I'll upgrade that one. That seems like the best one to, uh... To go for right now. I don't, uh... Isn't King Knight supposed to be up at the table? Every time you beat a level... Hang on, let me try this. Every time you beat a level... The new character that you were going for is up at the table, like eating at the table. My lord, I was afraid we'd lost you for good. Please, you must watch your footing on the tower. No, I guess not. That's weird. I thought the King Knight would show up, but he just didn't. You get a feat once you, uh, okay, I already got, I already got it. Inhuman resources. Speak with every recruit within the tower. You gotta remember to do that. <clears throat> oh, well. I think for now I'm gonna 
just go for it. <clears throat> Let's go to the Exploratorium next. My lord, are you prepared to visit Exploratorium? Yes. I'm just gonna go. Why not? Yeah, I was real excited again for the. Uh, I was, you know, um, more excited about the King of Cards because that one I was really looking forward to. But, <clears throat> but you know, they they built up a lot of hype for me at least, and you know, other people that were. Shovel Knight fans, probably. We're looking forward to the Shovel Knight showdown as well. Because they actually had a bunch of advertising for it. And we're like, hey, let's show off some of the stuff. Some of the gameplay. They did that for King Knight, too. But... I was, uh... More interested in watching the gameplay stuff from that. Because, uh... <clears throat> I was already going to play. Both of them. Obviously. Like, I was already... in the mindset of, like, I'm gonna play it. You know, obviously. Come on. I'm gonna play... the King of... Cards. When it comes out. They don't really need to, uh... <clears throat> look into that one as much. But the Shovel Knight Showdown was m more intriguing in that way. Because it's like way different from what they were doing before. Like instead of making a... Because it's not like a platformer thing for... um. Alright, here's a secret over here. You have to hit that to get up there. Um, <clears throat> in order to, like, yeah, when, uh, <clears throat> uh, for showdown, it's not like what they were typically doing with the other games where it's like, hey, it's another uh... <clears throat> like another platformer 2D thing where you're playing as uh, a new character on a new adventure. It's like, it's a fighting game with a platform fighting game with Shovel Knight characters. Which I thought was just really cool. <clears throat> so that's why it was a little, a little bit more intriguing in that way, just to see, like... I want to know how this... how that game plays and, like... what was going on with that. <clears throat> You can expect how a King Knight game would uh, play, because they were also showing it. It was like, oh god, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. Yep, I knew it. Whoops. Whatever. They were showing off, like, some of the... Like, here's the, the run cycle for him, and... 
<clears throat> Here's how he's gonna attack. They have he, he, they gave him like a shoulder bash thing, like the Wario Land games. They also have like a. <clears throat> oh my god! Every single time. That was so dumb. I don't know if he can do this in Wario Land, but. They have a thing where after he does a shoulder bash to an enemy or anything that you can shoulder bash onto for King Knight, he does a little spin and you can hop on things while you're spinning and enemies and stuff. And if you, uh, if you bounce on something while you're spinning, you could do another shoulder bash. So you could potentially keep it going, if you like keep going like that. You can't shoulder bash twice in a row. Unless... <clears throat> you uh, bounce on something after doing it. <clears throat> so you, we'll, we'll get there. We'll see it when we get there, when we get to the King of Cards playthrough. But, yeah, it's... It's pretty out there. Oh my god. I forgot that you th just fall right through those dirt mountains there. I thought I had to jump again to like break it, but nope. You just, you fall right down. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. That did not just happen. I swear it didn't happen. If you saw it happen, then you are blind to the truth. I'm just gonna gaslight myself and the audience. Even though I recorded it happening, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say it did not happen. guys <clears throat> no no it's, it's this guy again See, that's, that is a lifesaver. Literally. You can use it to heal. Okay. There we go. See if I can get through here without killing myself. <clears throat> so yeah, I was real hyped about the showdown. They 
They just, they went all out. <clears throat> and I highly respect Yacht Club games for that. They did not have to do that. They could have just made a, a super bare bones, like, battle mode. Where you play as all of the knights. That was, like, their big thing that they were advertising at the at the start for the Kickstarter for the Kickstarter um, they were like uh, we're gonna make a battle mode a four player battle mode that was one of the stretch goals um, where you get to play as every one of the boss knights. All, all of the knight characters you could play as. Including the Enchantress. Like, that was going to be a whole thing. But. They just. They went all out with it. They just went all out. And they actually added more characters in there that were not, you know, just the knight characters. They had the other shuffle knight characters in there. They they represent uh they have a, a pretty good roster of characters that represents the game as a whole. You can play as like some of the side characters too, and even some of the normal enemies. They have the uh, a gold armor, which are the the ar the big you know, the armor guys. You can play as him. You can play as uh, <clears throat> you can play as Mona, which is actually really cool. She's one of my favorite characters to play as, actually. She's got some interesting stuff going on. And just in general, she's one of my favorite characters. <clears throat> but, you know. Um, so that's just really cool that they did that. <clears throat> you can play as, like... You can play as the Baz and like Rays and uh, the Phantom Striker. So they've got they've got a pretty good roster of characters going on. It's pretty great. What? He <laughs> he! Wow! Someone call the Embalmer. This one's past its prime. What are you even doing here? Show yourself. I've come to offer you the position of court alchemist to the Enchantress. Join us at her army of invincible knights. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> Sounds important. Invisible knights? Tell me more. Hee 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 ha ha ha. Boom. You are clearly not paying attention. Perhaps my scythe will get through to you. Also another thing to, to note, uh, Plague Knight is a little bit taller when he's like a boss character. Like he's... So is like uh, King Knight and Spectre Knight. Like they get... <clears throat> They scaled them down for when you play as them. <clears throat> because, you know, that's how you do it. For sprite work, you gotta make them a certain size to, like... <clears throat> to make sure that you can play as them and they, they control well enough. Um, <clears throat> they didn't want to like 
have them be their regular height when you're fighting them. You know? Same. Now I got the rail mail. So when you hold down the down button, you can now just use every surface as a rail. And he changes the color a little bit, like left. When you're going left, it's red because the left rails are red and then the right ones are blue. So he changes color. And even when you're talking to people, his icon is the color that uh, of what you're doing here. So if you try the red one, now he's got the red on him. No. Oh, this is cool. <clears throat> okay, these I definitely need. Maybe I shouldn't have bought this out outfit, because now I want to... I want these so that I can upgrade them, too. Because when you upgrade those, you also can use them to get uh, your money bags back. Which would be very useful if the money bags, if you die and uh, <clears throat> there we go. If you die and the money bags go somewhere where you can't go, you just have to skip them. But you can use these to get them back. Unfortunately, uh, I don't think I have the money for it anymore to upgrade it. The Explodatorium is definitely our only headquarters. Yep. You can always find Plague Knight there. He doesn't ever leave and go anywhere. I really promise. Again, that's a... <laughs> clever, uh... Little reference there. To the Plague of Shadows campaign where... He obviously has another... <clears throat> he has another place to go. Another, uh, lair. This tower sure is seeing, a uh, heh, burst of activity lately. Business is booming. Uh, I'm having, he a blast. Get out of here with that. <laughs> Come on. Hey, a bit of business. Yeah, okay. He says the same thing. This guy also is a playable character, the Liquid Samurai. Stay grounded and attack as quickly as possible. Your foes will fall in no time. It's because they can do this. Even I can't climb up some walls. I suppose it's because they look different. <clears throat> no, no more science. Explosions ring constantly in my ear. I see bright flashes when I close my eyes. I don't know how his minions can stand it. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> Behold my metallic sheen. Maybe I should combine everything I've learned and serve the Clockwork Tower. I've always found machines to be fascinating. And Tinker Knight seems like a level-headed leader. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately I don't have enough money to upgrade anything, I think. Which sucks. Let me just check something here. See, it's just... It lets you get around faster. That's why I picked the railing one. The rails. The rail suit. Plus you can scoot across some spikes too. I just want to see if... Uh... Oh. 
I'll do it le next time. <clears throat> Alright. That'll be all for now. Actually, wait. Just for now, I'm gonna do the... Uh, switch over here. Because why not? I just... I like this better. There's just something about this... suit. Alright, anyway. <clears throat> that'll be all for now. For this episode. I just... Uh, we'll figure it out next time. Goodbye.